2023 is definitely the year of AI, and today we're going to be taking a look at it from a designer's point of view. Sure, you've probably heard of ChatGPT for a million different use cases, but today we're going to focus on UX tasks and how you can use AI like ChatGPT to help you with those kind of boring tasks. So let's take a look at a couple of examples just to whet your appetite, and hopefully this will set you on a road that you can go ahead and you can see how you could start using it and speeding up your whole design process. So we're going to be using ChatGPT for this example. And let's start off with a really simple example and we'll build upon them as we go forward. So let's say you're building an e-commerce site and you want to have something a little different for the buy now button, but you're kind of stuck for inspiration. Why not turn to ChatGPT or AI and ask it to do it just that? So we're going to get it to write some copy alternatives for a buy now button. There we go. After a few seconds, we now have 50 different variations that we can use. Now, obviously, a lot of these are going to be a little bit hit and miss, but you can at least go through and find something that's a good starting point. You might not use it verbatim. You might just use it as a kind of trigger to get your thought process going and then move on and create something totally new. But you now have 50 alternatives for a variation for that buy now button or that add to cart button, which is kind of a little bit boring. Now, let's just say your target market is introverts or you want to create an alternative landing page for more introverts potential buyers and you want to target them with some different kind of copy. Let's say I'm going to use my essential web designers documents pack and this is my standard heading but I want a more introverts version. Well we can hop back over into chat GPT and we can say so rewrite this heading and make it more appealing to introverts. There we go we now have an alternative and let's say we want some more alternatives we'll just say just provide us with five more variations. And now again, we can use these as they are, or we can simply go ahead and use them as a starting point to get our creative juices flowing. And I think that's the thing to take away with using this. You can use it as it is if you want to, if you're really stuck for ideas, or you can simply just use it to get your inspiration flowing and kind of use these as a starting point, a jumping off point, as it were. Now, let's just say you're looking for inspiration to create a landing page for yourself, for a client, for a project, for anything else. Well, this is a good starting point. So what's the perfect layer for a landing page setting an ebook on UI UX design? So let's go ahead and let ChatGPT give us some inspiration for creating that type of landing page. There we go. After a few moments, we now have a great starting point for creating the structure of our landing page. Now, you may find that this is going to be something that you're kind of used to working with. But let's say you have a new client or a customer that you've been working with for a while and they don't really know how to start working, but you need them to provide you with the content and the structure information to be able to create that landing page using this format. Well, now you can supply this exact copy to them and say, this is the format I want you to follow. Provide me with the content copy that I need for each of those relevant sections, including testimonials, those types of things. So again, you need to look at this being a starting point, a aid just to help you create a better work process, whether it's for you or to hand to a client to get them to give you what you need in the right structure and the right format. So again, a pretty great starting point. And one of the other things that if you are selling anything online, you need to have an avatar or a persona of your typical client or customer. This isn't always easy to kind of get into your head and structure. So you may need a starting point. Well, again, we can use ChatGPT to create personas for us. So sticking with the whole ebook on UI UX design, let's ask it to create some personas for our perfect customer. So again, let's go ahead and ask it to do just that. So we're going to get it to go three different personas. And as you can see, it breaks it down into the various different things that we need to be able to create the copy to format how we want everything to lay out based upon the avatar that we want to create. So we've got a recent graphic design graduate, a software developer, and we've got a senior UX designer. So you, again, you might find these are not perfect, but they're starting points that you can refine or use for inspiration to move forward with how you want to create personas. But it's a really solid starting point to say this is targeting new users, people that are learning about UI UX design. So we can simply take Hannah, who's age 24, and she's a recent graphic design graduate with an experience level of a beginner. Then we can find out what her needs are, and then we can find out what she th we think she would actually be looking for in an ebook like this we may want to create or a course or anything else. At least this gives you the ability to focus your efforts on that particular type of avatar. And then you can focus your landing pages, your marketing message, your email, 
all those things can be targeted towards that specific avatar or persona. Now let's just say you want to focus and drill things down and you want to find out what were the typical pain points that someone like Hannah, our initial avatar, would have when working with something like UI UX design. So let's ask ChatGPT to give us some inspiration so we can kind of get the ball rolling in the right direction again. So as you can see, this is coming back now with a range of different things we might want to focus on to, again, streamline our overall message to target Hannah, our perfect avatar, for our UI UX design landing page for our ebook. So we can see these are the typical pain points that she may experience, a lack of experience transitioning from a different field, limited portfolio, so she doesn't have that much experience to be able to call upon to help her get a job. So again, we can target these various different pain points and create something that's really hyper-focused on that particular user avatar. So this is just a couple of examples of how you could use ChatGPT to help you move forward with your user experience kind of process. Check it out, try it out for yourself, use this as a sort of starting point, and then let your imagination flow free. I think you can probably find a hundred different use cases of how this could speed up and improve your workflow. But as always, if you've used this in any kind of way, let me know in the comment section below how you use it and how you find this improves your workflow and hopefully improves your bottom line. As always, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C, this is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.